And one of the many open source technologies that you folks, you know, leverage and use or contribute to is also Renode. Can you talk about, you know, how kind of Renode helps build, you know, Zephyr-based product um, and uh, what specific problem are you trying to solve there with Renode and uh, Zephyr? Yeah, um, Renode is a simulator. So it's a tool for faster and more effective development, especially if you're trying to test your systems. You really need simulation tools because that allows you to cover lots of scenarios and build systems that are completely reusable and you can share them with colleagues, uh, develop across teams, across you know continents, basically. So uh, a simulator like this is very useful for developing real systems. And of course, uh, if you're using a real-time operating system, you're trying to build some drivers, you're trying to create an application, a lot of the time you'll run into problems that are not so easy to debug in software, in, in hardware. Uh, so a simulator really helps in that regard. And Reno targets specific devices. It doesn't target like only architectures like ARM or RISC-V, but it targets real boards, right? We simulate real boards with peripherals uh, so we can test end-to-end -end applications. And that is a very important aspect because as Zephyr markets itself as an operating system with an ecosystem and with all the tools and modules and uh, uh, applications that you require to, to build real products and not just prototypes. Uh, so is Renode kind of a simulator that allows you to build real products and not prototypes. So we can do multi-node system simulation for, for example, for testing protocols and communication between different nodes of a system. Or we can, you know, create heterogeneous systems with multiple uh, CPUs. Very often Zephyr is used on some kind of um, auxiliary cores, you know, supplementary cores in a bigger system. It's not always used as a standalone uh, thing. So Renode allows you to kind of model and simulate those complex scenarios and develop real-world products. And that's how they fit well together.